Hey everybody, this is Van Hargis of Van Hargis Horsemanship. Uh, today on the, the ranch road, I'm gonna have to bring it to you in the dark. Um, we had a little bit of technical difficulty this morning and uh, as a result, uh, we just had some issues that we just couldn't get around. And then we had a, I had a real important business meeting today at 10 o'clock, so we couldn't even do this later in the morning. Um, and, and of course, it's been a long day. And uh, now that I'm home from the ranch, I thought, well, heck, now now's as good a time as any. Uh, we tried to plug the phone back up and it's it, so far it's working so number one I just really appreciate you guys joining us and I'm sorry about the conditions but um, we took Sunday off but by golly today Monday being a whole nother day I didn't want to skip two days in a way uh, two days in a row without bringing you something at least so um, so I'm just kind of sitting here at the driveway right now just before we call it a call it a day it's about oh 8 30 or so in the evening and um, what I thought I'd visit with you today is about number one. Just I want to be a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit forthright and giving some appreciation and showing my gratitude toward a couple that come down to visit with us from uh, uh, Colorado. Uh, the the owner of the ranch that they work for really wants their horse program to improve quite a bit, for, literally from the ground up. And so he sent these uh, these two fine individuals down here to work with us uh, to help improve their colt program, their colt starting program. And, uh, and and I'm very pleased. I think they uh, we, we they came in on Saturday. We gave them all day Sunday to, to kind of take the day off and acclimate a little bit to the South Texas weather. And then today we had a really really productive day. I couldn't have been more proud of how how good they worked and how good their horses did today. So my hats off to the Freeman Ranch in Colorado, and uh, and my hats off to the folks that come down to visit with us. We'll tell you more about them later. But what I what I want to really emphasize is, is that. Um, Whenever we are starting colts, I may have shared this with you guys before, and I'm going to reemphasize it over and over and over again. Colt starting is not colt breaking. Anybody that thinks that, you need to get your head out of your butt. I mean, I hate to put it like it is, but I mean, there's no such thing as colt breaking unless all you are is a bronc stomper. But the reality is, if we really want really good horses, both in the performance pen as well as uh, good ranch horses, nice, reliable, really good ranch horses, or if we want just everyday run-of-the-mill good riding mounts that we can really get stuff done in the future, we got to get that mindset out of our head of taking horses to somebody just get the buck out of them. Um, because you see, would you send your kid to somebody just to get the manners put on them? And I'm going to tell you flat out, no. The answer to that is it's your job to get that kid that manners. It's your job to help that colt get the manners and everything he needs. you got to understand that colt starting is establishing your rock solid foundation for everything forward. Everything moving forward is all about your colt starting. I mean, everything from your groundwork under your first ride, even your first several rides, in fact, maybe even your first hundred rides, that is like teaching your horse the ABCs and the one, two, threes. And if you don't think I'm really serious about it, I'm going to tell you this. A colt only gets one first start. After that, a, a good hand is either fixing what somebody first screwed up on those first days were so important, which limits that horse's ability to continue to go forward. It limits their future from that day forward, you see. So a colt only gets one first start. I'm going to ask you, is your horse worth getting the best start he can possibly get? I'm telling you, that's the best money or that's the best time that you can possibly spend with, spend with your horse. I can't emphasize how important that foundation training is. And for those of you who are having a hard time understanding foundation training, I'm going to encourage you to go to our website. I'm going to encourage you to follow us on Facebook. Um, I think we have probably simplified foundation as good as anybody. And I'm going to give you the nutshell about my program. Forward motion, control of forward motion, and stopping a forward motion. It's just that simple. It is just that simple. But there's also a lot that goes into that. Something that nobody but just good plain experience or just darn good determination is going to teach you and your horse. So I got to emphasize to you, my hat's off to the Freeman Ranch for sending these folks down here because he really has made a commitment into making his program a lot better for his horses and most importantly for his clients. Those people that he has established as customers and repeat customers, they want to buy better horses. He likes his breeding program, even though he's constantly working to improve it. He's, he likes his breeding program. And he's shown you and he's shown others how committed he is 
to showing you how good his program is by putting an investment in those two individuals that's helping him get his cult started. And that's for you. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate his confidence in me to send his folks down here to me to, to, for me to help him out. Again, I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all so much for joining me on the on the ranch road. I apologize for the conditions tonight. We're we're literally just working by the light of the truck here for for light for you. I hope you guys appreciate the fact that we uh, I, I made every effort to bring it to you. We had like I said, we had a little technical difficulty this morning, uh, and then we also had a little bit of issue with some time management. I had a, I had a very very important meeting today to do at ten o'clock, and then for the rest of the day I was committed to my students, and uh, and and. Um, I hope you guys can appreciate that fact, and, and not that I hold you in any less priority, but by golly, as my granddaddy used to say, son, you got to dance with who brung you. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all so much for joining me, and until next time, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship, and thank you for joining me on The Ranch Road.